100 nutritional labels, it's all bad for us. If you walk around the edges of the grocery store, it's, it's the fresh meat and the fresh food, vegetables and, and all the stuff that's good for us. Well, buildings are going through the same thing. As we start to rethink the environmental performance of a building, we start to think about just changing our diet. So it's, concrete uses a ton of energy to make it and, it and produces it as a result a huge amount of carbon dioxide which is causing the greenhouse gases that cause climate change. So we need to reduce that part of our diet in buildings. We're not getting rid of it, we're just getting, we're reducing it. Same thing with steel, we're gonna reduce the amount of steel. Wood is grown by the power of the sun. When it grows, it's like, it's basically giving us oxygen but it's also soaking up carbon dioxide. As it soaks up the carbon dioxide, that's, the, that's the, the, the carbon dioxide that's the primary gas of greenhouse gas emissions. It's giving us a way to basically remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and help us put, address or slow the impact of climate change. That's what happens with a tree. You cut it down, you take that wood and put it into a building. Now it's storing the carbon dioxide in the building and making it a much better, you know, more, more uh, it's, it's basically sequestering the carbon and preventing that carbon from going back into the atmosphere. So that's how these wood buildings are better environmentally than a concrete or steel building. And so we're changing our diet. We're increasing the stuff that's good for us by increasing the amount of wood in a building and we're reducing the amount of concrete in the building, reducing the amount of steel, but we're not getting rid of it. Okay, so that's step one. Now I'll get back to your question on the types of buildings. Here's a big tall building and here's the ground. This part is all concrete. So if you got a you know, basement parking garage, there's gonna be concrete in there. The main core of the building with the elevators, when I build them, they're made out of wood. The first wooden core elevators in the world. Then what we do is we have floor slabs that are made out of these thick panel products. Okay? Now the panel products look like this. This is in real dimension, okay? This is what a CLT looks like. It's about, each layer is about the thickness, a little less than a two by four. And the boards in one direction are, this is a piece of wood, this is another piece of wood, glued together side by side. Is it making sense to you guys? And then on the bottom, same thing, this one's going, so these boards here are going this way, boards in the middle are going this way, these boards are going this way. So if I look down on the top of this panel, there's a, there's a bunch of two bys going one way, and then a layer of two, two bys going the other way, and then another layer of two bys going on top. That creates a sandwich. Like plywood, I don't know if you guys have learned this yet, but like plywood, you have to always have an odd number of layers in a panel product, okay? Do you guys learn that already? That's what keeps it from warping, okay? So I can build a panel of CLT that's three layers or five layers, or seven layers, like that's a five layer panel. So that's about seven inches. And that's about four inches. So I can build a panel three, five, seven. If I do it in an odd number of these, these panels, um, they're gonna warp, okay? So it's always an even number. Those panels then become our floors in our building, they become the core of the building, and they may become the walls, kind of like a, like a, a platform built house rather than a bunch of two by fours making your walls, they're a solid panel wall. Okay, so that's that's how these buildings are ultimately put. The, the core keeps it stable. The exterior might have a glue lamb column going up on the outside here, or it might be built with a whole bunch of panels. So if I look at the plan of that building, I'll just kind of make a random square building here. I have an elevator core in the middle maybe two elevators. I have a stair core. That's the middle of my building. That box is made out of CLT, put the cross laminated timber panels vertically going through the building. And then if it's an office building, I have glue lamb columns around here and glue lamb beams. So those are all beams. And then I take these slabs, which I'm gonna draw in green, and they're the floor slabs, and one floor slab is that big, and the next floor slab is that big, and that's made out of this as well, okay? 